At this point on the political calendar, the conventional wisdom has been that George Bush would walk away with the election next year. Not only did the Democrats not have an obvious candidate, uh, there was no obvious issue either. But as ABC's Chris Bury reports, some Democrats now sense an opening. I think the appropriate thing to do this morning is to observe a moment of silent prayer for the President of the United States. That was Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton on the record as Democratic leaders paused to pray. But off the record, political issues of the president's health and the vice president's competence were on many minds, though most Democrats were reluctant to try making much political hay in public. To try to exploit the issue of health and the issue of being queer, I think, is a mistake because it basically says we don't have anything else to say. But other ambitious Democrats were more ready to seize the quail issue. For Virginia Governor Wilder, a likely candidate, it once again raises questions about the president's judgment. The issue will be whether the president has prepared the American people for an orderly line of succession to the extent that anything should happen to him. In another part of town, Jesse Jackson told students he too prayed for President Bush, but then Jackson could not resist. The thought of Quayle succeeding him uh, will give all of us irregular heartbeats. <laughs> Democrats, of course, have serious troubles of their own to worry about, including an identity crisis within their party. The Democrats meeting here want to put the party on a more conservative path, but they think too much like Republicans for party liberals and would-be candidates are caught in the middle. We don't need to fight each other. We can win without each other. The president's heart may hand them a new issue, but Democrats are still squabbling over what they stand for and who they represent. Chris Bury, ABC News, Cleveland. Also in Cleveland tonight is our political director, Hal Bruno. Hal, we've heard what the Democrats have to say on the record. What are they saying when they close the door? Well, when they're talking among themselves, they all say they want the president to recover as fast as possible. But they also realize that if this is the start of ongoing medical problems, his health and the competency of the vice president become a very legitimate campaign issue. And it gives them an opportunity in the election that, at this point in time, they didn't think they would ever have. If it's a minor episode, a very short duration, then it has very little impact and it's going to fade away. In terms of Vice President Quayle, and given the fact that the Democrats have been floundering, how much of an issue do they think the Vice President is? Well, they think the Vice Presidency could be a tremendous issue because the Republicans depend upon crossover Democrats and independent voters to come on over and vote for them. And if they have questions, questions about uh, Dan Quayle's ability to handle the job, this could possibly cost anywhere from three to five points in the election. And in a very close election, that could make a very big difference. Okay, Hal Bruno, our political director in Cleveland. Thanks very much. We'll be back with the other news in just a moment.